Hi everyone, this is Jay and we're gonna go through hacking the PS Vita and this one is running firmware 3.70 so the flow has released Trinity which is the latest hack for the Vita um, there it is and now we can actually hack the latest firmware um, I'm gonna try hacking this and then going all the way back down to firmware 3.60 so that I can install um, Enzo so let's go through this and first step is signing into the PlayStation Store and make sure you have your Wi-Fi on um, I've already taken the liberty of signing on and then searching for his instructions are to search for a PSP um, North American demo of Loco Roco which is this one right here so we'll download this game it's free and it's just gonna take a while to download you can keep track of the bubble to see how long it's gonna take okay so while the Vita is downloading the demo I'm on the computer here on the github for Trinity so we have the requirements filled in um, the device is on 3.70 if you're on 3.69 then you do need to update to 3.70 and I am using a slim PS Vita but if I was using the old um, OL OLED model I would need a memory card in order to install this so we've signed into the PlayStation Store and we're already downloading the demo so now we are going to the inst installation part so we're gonna install QCMA I'm on Windows so I'll install that installer um, if and I created a Trinity um, folder on the desktop so I can just keep everything on there so while that installs I'm looking at the, the Vita here and it looks like local Roco has been installed so we'll wait on that and let me install QCMA leave these two blank and just have win USB driver and let that install at this point you're gonna need a micro USB to USB cord so that you can connect your um, Vita to your PC so I'll do this step by step that was QCMA um, it's best to right click this and run as administrator and you'll see I have some a couple of folders here that says music and video um, the reason for that is when you run a refresh database on QCMA it might find um, videos and music in your own folder so you want to use this and set these as the directory initially this is actually set to your documents folder so everything here looks good um, go to other and set this to latest and firmware 0, 0.00 always up to date and I'll just have this on the side so we can see it side by side and click OK on this now we are back on the Vita I plugged in a USB to the PC and now I'm going to plug in a micro USB into it. Okay. And on my computer, it says uh, connected to PS Vita. And now I am going to go to Content Manager here on the Vita, start, and copy content 
So at this point, the PC or the Vita should see the PC. And I'm going to go to PS Vita system to PC, applications, PSP slash other, and there's our demo of local Roco. So we're going to copy that and then click OK. Then back on the PC, one second. Back on the PC, if, you, if I go to Documents, I'll see a PS Vita folder, and it's actually copying it into this folder right here, PGame. So let that finish on the Vita. And we'll go to PGame, and this is actually the game right here. So it says 187 megabytes, and this, if I go to properties, is 187 megabytes. So that's the game. Um, now you'll go back to your Trinity um, web page, and before you download PSV image tools, you're going to want to go down here and open up this web page. And now we have cma.henkaku.xyz. We're then going to go back to our copied game and copy this string here. Paste that on here, click submit, and you will get this really long string of um, alphanumeric code. So it'd be best to open up a text document and copy that onto this. So we'll just leave this aside, minimize it for now, and then we'll go back to Trinity. And essentially what you're going to be doing is also copying this folder into your Trinity folder right here. And we are going to be altering this file and then copying it back onto this folder. But so for now, let's close the official folder and we'll mess with this file right here. So hopefully you're still with me and next we will go to this um, instruction right here. So next we'll do what we'll do is download um, PSV image tools and go down Go to Win64, whichever um, version your Windows is, or or uh, operating system, and I'll save it in my Trinity folder. And then I'm gonna open that. This is WinRAR, by the way. So extract to, and then I'm gonna find my Trinity folder on here. I'm gonna find the game, and it's, I'm gonna un. Um, unrar it in this folder along with the game folder license folder and SCE underscore SY system folder so click that cl uh, click OK and then close that WinRAR uh, a window and then go back to your folder here go here and now you have all those files so now the next step is actually going back to uh, the GitHub. So under installation, we are now at number seven. And so it looks like my PS Vita went to sleep. So let me uh, turn it back on. Um, PC. USB cable. Alright, so it's connected back again. And going back to the instructions, we are going to copy this one. Go back to the notepad. Scroll down a few lines and paste it here. And now, this string here, copy it. Highlight the words your underscore key and paste it in there. 
and then recopy that whole line and go back to your game folder you're gonna type CMD for a command prompt window where's my letter D sorry my keyboard is sideways right now there it is it opened up this folder right here and then we're gonna click control V to paste our command and click enter so now it'll say creating file all done so that what that did is it created this folder right here game underscore DEC close this for now or minimize it and then alright so the next step is going back to the github and downloading Trinity this is a pboot file and what you want to do is it tells you right here copy the pboot file to game DEC UXO so all of this root folder um, so I'll save it here for now and then I will try to find whichever folder it's trying to say so game DEC this folder and so it's telling me to put it in this folder all the way to the end of that folder alright and now we are going to encrypt that game copy paste copy this go back to your notepad create another line paste it here and then the game string again your key paste it here copy that whole line and we're back on our command window control V again for copy paste or for paste and let it pack up the file again so that's done and next what we'll do is remove game DEC folder and PSV image tools and select refresh database in QCMA settings so we're gonna remove all of this uh, delete that delete this folder and this is our altered folder or altered game files in the Trinity folder so now I'm gonna have to go back to the official files so documents PS Vita P game and there it is so I'm gonna copy this drag it over here and replace the files in the destination folder so once that's done I'll right click QCMA refresh database and it found all the extra items that that um, was on the database that I added and now comes the fun part we are going to copy back the modified backup to the Vita so we are back on the Vita and now it says PC to Vita applications PSP other and there it is you can see that it's altered because it went from 187 to 188 megabytes so we're gonna copy that click OK and it should load might take a while to copy it over Okay, so we're back on the Vita, the the hacked loco roco demo has been copied. We're gonna go back to the live screen, and there it is. It says Trinity. Essentially, we hacked that game to become this program. So we're gonna load that. It still thinks it's loco roco, but guess what? It is not. So now this is a PSP. Um, hack and as you can see Morpheus is about to talk to you and oh get it Trinity 
Oh, okay. You know what, guys? Now it just makes sense to me. So, install Hinkaku. We're going to go down here. Click X. And it says success. And now download Vita Shell. So, Vita Shell is what's going to be allowing us to install um, plugins and other types of fun homebrew stuff. So, those two are done. I'm going to close this. Exit. And now there's Vita Shell. The for all intents and purposes, this is now a hacked Vita. And there it is, Hankaku settings. Um, we are now going to lower this down to version 3.6. And to do that, um, will be the next step.